Hey, hello guys, welcome back. In this video, I will be telling you how you can create a dummy data or fake data or synthetic data related to your uh, project courses or some experiment or some for some practice purpose, right? So there is a library called DBL Data Gen. Okay, so you have to install it in your cluster and currently I am using DBR 15.2, right? And uh, this is the code. So, you know, you just have to import it import the library and then dg dot data generate as a class and in that you have to pass a session so currently we have a spark session you can you you can give some uh, some name it is optional you can you know if you do not want you can also you know uh, remove it and how many rows you want and how many partitions you want right and random is true now uh, since we want to generate a, a schema i mean we want to generate a data for the name and email so i have given here name column and uh, data type is a string and value should be like this and random is true so what will happen it will take it will take the values from only this list okay and if you want if you do not want if you want to generate some random values then you you can use this template option and there you can pass the regular expressions like i did for emails and random is too right so apart from this if you are planning to uh, prepare data breaks and if you're liking this video then you can check out my course which i have built on top of data breaks still it is in um it is it's still i need to make the videos and you can see around 93 uh, sessions will be covered and the course will be updated by 30th of june not 15th of june i have to uh, do some uh, more uh, work right and uh, hopefully if you are liking this video so go and enroll it and maybe in future i will increase the price okay cool so you can just have to write here df is equal to ds dot build and display it and if you want to save this data anywhere you can save it and this is the library you know you can uh, just check it out over here this is the page i can you know share with you guys so that code which you were seeing right before so i have copied from here see i just change it to something and based on my need i have changed the code and you know i did it so if you want to learn more you can just you know go and you know understand things in detail now in some of the cases you know uh, we want we have the data let's say we have very less data uh, okay so uh, let me first create a uh, you know create a, let me create a table create table test db dbl data gen so here let me create for a uh, name name is string and uh, you know email and uh, what else we have what else we have we have uh, you know let's say age age is an integer format right okay that's it and now what I can do I can insert some data insert into Let's say Sagar dot com and 35, 34 something. You know, I am not 34. Okay. So let me just run it. Insert into two. Okay. So now you can see that uh, now you can understand that we have a kind of data right we have a small data or uh, the okay and uh, we have a small data and now we want to generate a uh, relate i mean based on this data i want to generate like 10 rows or you know 20 rows like that so how we can do that so you can see over here you can go over here and see something see you can copy this and you can paste it over here quickly paste it and just write here table and change the table name if you have stored the data in the path then you can also give the path using that uh, spark.read.format parquet and load function right right and uh, yeah you can do this way also so we'll see uh, how it uh, you know returns the things now it will return you the 
or complete code you know whatever code we have written over here right it will return the code see and now what they have done they have given you some 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 uh, some these things okay this is summarize function sorry i forgot uh, sorry 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 i have to copy this first i have to actually i i had to run this uh, because of some mistake happened let me go over here let me do it again and now this will i guess this will return hmm. see this return me the code okay so now what i can do i can just quickly come over here and you know and based on the number of uh, rows i want i can do it and this name is string if you want to change it we can change it age is uh, int age is a column integer and then you know uh, max value is equal to uh, thousand so age should be start from 10 and goes till let's say 40 right and do not need to do this give is give only 100 and to create to create a build i have to copy this code okay now you can see if you want to save this data now you can save it anywhere so df dot i dot save as table table or you know give some name test one two three four five quality something like that you can give now you know uh, if you do not want to use template and what you can do you can use here values of array and you can give some names like saga alex and uh, you know uh, like you know uh, kim so now what will happen it will generate the dummy data based on only these values so you see if i run it now then you will see that we are having the data based on oh it will throw an error mode Oh, I don't things are okay over right now you can see we have only Alex Kim and Sarah right so you can explore though uh, this uh, uh, you know website uh, I will give you the screenshot I mean uh, the link in the description box you can just go and check it out and apart from this I hope that you are good and if you wish you can just check out my code the one which I have shown you right and we'll meet you in the next lecture I hope that this video will help you to generate our dummy data Okay, so thank you. Bye-bye. We'll meet you in the next lecture.